Hi, I'm Lisa from Hans Growy. Today we're going to be looking at how to remove your old kitchen faucet and replace it with your new Hans Growy Metra Select kitchen faucet. Don't worry, this is an easy do-it-yourself job and I'll walk you through it step by step. Before we get started, we'll want to take a look at how many holes your existing setup has. The sink we'll be working with today is a single hole faucet, but for two, three, or four hole constructions, you can purchase extra items like a base plate or soap dispenser. Let's take a look at the tools you'll need for this job. Two adjustable wrenches, flat and Phillips screwdrivers, a tray to catch excess water, a cloth, and finally, a small flathead screwdriver like the one we've got here. Great, we're ready to get started. First, we'll remove the old faucet. Start by turning off the hot and cold water supplies. Usually, you'll find the shutoff valves under the sink, or in rare cases, the basement. Once you've shut off the water supply, turn on your old faucet and then turn it off again to release pressure in the lines. For this next step, make sure to have your tray or bucket handy to catch any water that's still in the line. Use your adjustable wrench to disconnect the water supply lines from your old faucet. Next, we're going to unscrew the mounting hardware holding the faucet in place. Once that's done, we can lift the old faucet off the sink and clean away any grime or old plumber's putty. Now let's take a look at the Metra Select kitchen faucet. You can see here that the plastic washer, friction washer, metal washer, and mounting nut come pre-installed on the faucet. We're going to go ahead and pull those off for now, but keep them handy, you'll need them soon. Find the hose with the brass straight connector piece and pull it through the mounting nut. Now the nut should be easy to remove. Align the hole on the back of the spout with the alignment pin and press it together firmly. Now it's time to install the faucet. Start by guiding the pipes through the hole in your counter. You'll want to make sure that the hoses are straight and not tangled and that the ceiling ring stays in place between the faucet and the countertop. Now, from under the sink, go ahead and reattach the pieces you took off a minute ago. You should install the plastic washer first, then the fiber washer, metal washer, and finish with the mounting nut. Tighten the nut by hand first so that you can make sure your faucet is lined up the way you want it on your counter. Once everything is in place, take your flathead screwdriver and tighten it the rest of the way. Now it's time to connect all the hoses. First, find the hand spray hose. It's the one with the green plastic ring around the base. Attach it to the matching connection hose by squeezing the connections together and tightening this nut with your adjustable wrench. Once you're sure the connection is solid, go ahead and connect the hose weight on the handspray side of the loop with your Phillips head screwdriver. Back above the sink, pull the handspray out and replace it to make sure that everything moves smoothly. Looks good. Now we can connect our water supply lines to the hot and cold water hookups under your sink. The hot water supply line for the Metra Select is marked with this small red band. Go ahead and connect it to the hot water valve under your sink with your adjustable wrench. Usually the hot water valve is on the left, but every house is a little different, so you'll want to double check. Do the same thing for your cold water supply line and be careful not to over tighten your connections here. Great, we're ready to run a quick test. Turn the water back on at the supply valves. Check for leaks now with the faucet off, then again with the water running. You want to be totally sure that there are no leaks anywhere, so check both above and below the sink a few times over the next few days. All right, last step. We need to flush the lines to get rid of any debris in the hoses that could cause trouble down the road. Pull the hand sprayer out and look for the small catch on the neck of the spout. Use your small flat head to pry the ring mechanism out like this. Set this aside, but be careful not to lose it you'll need it to put everything back together again. You should be able to remove the hand sprayer now, so set that aside and let the water run for about 45 seconds to clear any debris. Reconnect the spout, snap the pin back in, and you're all done. Congratulations. Hopefully everything went smoothly for you, but remember, if you have any questions about the install or issues with your product, take a look at the resources below. We're always happy to help. From all of us at Hans Growy, thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your new Hans Growy Metra Select Faucet.